Okay, YouTube. <clears throat> I'm going to try and show you something here. That frustrated the hell out of me. And uh, there seemed to be no, um, no answers on YouTube whatsoever how to do this. So I'm going to show you this real quick. So if you got a switch, this is a Kato number six switch. And uh, I had one, just this one recently was that freaking, the points would not move at all. These switches are expensive, and uh, I'm going to show you real quick how to fix it. It's pretty simple. It's a lot simpler than what you think it is. Um, rather than you going out and buying another switch, just got to do this right here. So what happens is, let me get all this off of here like this. Let me kind of clean some of this stuff out of the way. I get junk on top of junk in here. <laughs> Sorry about that. So we take it apart, and I've read where a couple folks have taken another one apart, and they wind up breaking that one as well, so then they have two switches broken. Well, I wasn't going through that trouble. I just had to figure out how it worked to make it work, and that was it. So let's give you the idea here how to do this. It's pretty easy to fix. There's really not that much to it. It's a simple switch, simple setup. And all these are is a uh, a magnetic pickup switch is all it is. Oops. Okay, if you take that off. Generally, the problem people were having was um, this wire would be out of the switch. The way this works is this is magnetic. When you get to that point, when it's energized, it energizes one side or the other. And the magnet pulls it back and forth. So that's all it is. This is a magnet and this is a magnet. So I'm looking at this is a magnet and this is a magnet right here. And this switch just operates like that. on the mag on, It's magnetic and that's it. This T right here is nothing more than a cover. So if you hold that down and lift up that T just like that. That's that cover. Takes that cover off. Then this piece, the magnetic, the slide bar right here, you just pick it up. Push back down on that, pick the whole bar up, like this, like so, like however. <laughs> it's, it's a little ticky tricky to get out of there, which you can do it here in a minute. Just like that. Take that out, then put your your uh, magnetic, your, your bar right there, back in place. Okay, so now you see the pin came out. So here's your pin. And if you're like me, I kept trying to force it right in here somewhere in this area, and that just wasn't working. I mean, it just, I'm going back and forth. I mean, what the hell's up with this thing? Okay, so that's not where it goes, is obvious. The obvious answer is that's not where it goes. Take your pin, stick it back in. To the hole right here. To this right here. Do you see that or not? Back in that hole. Back into this slide right here. And then just lay it. Well, actually, I take that back. Put it through here first, <laughs> then put it back in there. Put it through here, just like this, okay? And you can just hold it in your hand right there with your fingers. And then just slide it back through there. It's a little awkward. Uh, especially when you got big monkey fingers like I do. You're going to put this back into that like that right there, okay? All right, so you got that in there. So you let that sit in there. You can pull it out a little bit further. Before you lay this down, take this. Well, actually, I take that back. Put this right here back in the hole again where it belongs, okay? Your switch is going to sit. And you can't see it right here, but there is a... Since that came out of here, let me show you real fast. Makes it easier. Okay. You see this pin right here? That pin or, pins, that pin or that pin actually. Oh, I got the damn thing stuck down in there. I can't get it out. Okay, there it goes. That pin. You put this back through there. And you can just let it hang out here. It doesn't have to go all the way through all the way up. So you put that in there like that. Make sure you don't get hung up on the magnet because it'll, it'll stick to it if you do. 
slide that back down, blah, 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 like that. Okay. Just get that in there right there for now, for the most part. <laughs> Just get out of your freaking way. It's, it's, I know it looks complicated, but it's not. It's, it, it looks, it's a lot simpler than you think it is. That pin rides on this switch. So what you want to do is take that switch, move it back to where that pin is, and then put it back in. This pin right here, when you get it back in there, like this right here, well, this is the trickier part right here. You got to put this back in here, right through that hole, right? Then you're going to lift it up over here on this side. It's a, it's, it's definitely tricky. I'm not going to lie. It's a little bit tricky to do, but you know what? It's not overly complicated. It's a really simple setup, to be honest with you. Let's just pull that back out again. We'd have to just kind of turn this again. So this is the worst part of the whole deal right here is getting this to go back in there. So here's the pin again. So you can probably just, you know what? I bet you could take that out of there. Take this, slide this over this way, okay? You, gotta, you see all that stuff right there? All my little freaking handles are attached to it. <laughs> that wasn't exactly cool, but it worked. Okay. Head gun, really? It's just, you know, it's funny. When I did this a minute ago, it was pretty freaking simple. Now it just seems to want to give me a fit. But anyway... That's it right there. That's in now. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. That's in now. So now with this back here, you're going to push this back through there like this. Right? Well, damn it. What is the freaking deal now? I did this a minute ago and it was a piece of cake. I'm going to make a video and this is what happens to me. Which, honestly, anyway, it's it's much simpler than it looks. Believe me, I'm just tired and. Taste the crackers. I just did this a minute ago. It was a piece of cake. Finally, got the damn thing in there now. Now the damn thing came back out again. <sighs> really? You gotta be freaking kidding me, right? Oh, that goes well. Not really, I didn't really go in there, did it? Guarantee if I didn't make this video, this wouldn't have been this freaking complicated. Really? Jeez Louise. Sorry guys, just I, I just did this five minutes ago and it was a piece of cake. Now when I'm making a video, it's like, yeah, really? Well, let's show you what a piece of cake is. Yeah, come on now. Okay, well, I got that in. Now that this thing is really getting all jacked up on me over here. Just bear with me, guys. We're going to get it. <laughs> okay. Now, I have to put this. 
back in the hole. It's right there. Um, yeah, that's it right there. Okay, we're together now. Got all that, right? All right, put your cap back on. Just like that. Put that back on. Put this back in. got to do is do that so you can check it to make sure it works right there's not too much tension on it see that works like a charm This is a good switch here. I'm not standing with this one, so I just want to make sure something here, though. I don't know which. So, shoot. Take you off of there. Take you off of there. Okay, so it's in the. This one's the furthest one away. That's in the closest one. That needs to be moved around the other side. Okay, alright. So it's the furthest one away from it. Okay. All right. That's all I wanted to see. Everything else is good. That's that one. See, if you look at the way that switch works right there, see it hugs up the rail pretty tight. What I have on this one doesn't do that. This one here doesn't get that close. So I need to take it around and actually have some fun again, huh? Try to hold it all together myself this time, though. Okay, I see it's got more tension on that foot right there. A lot more tension now. Okay. 
Okie dokie. That's it. That's all we have to do. Fix it up. Good deal. That's huge. That's just outside of this thing on the layout. I was like, man, what's wrong with that switch? It won't work. And, uh, and that's why. That wire comes out, and it looks like, you know, when you take it apart, that, that wire is actually supposed to be, um, like that, that edge part is where the, the bend is supposed to actually lap, wrap around that little um, lip right there when you take that uh, the two pinned slide bar off so when you look at it from that side that's how it looks like it's supposed to go but I was like well that it's got to do something different here and that's how it works right there so you see it now so that should be pretty simple let's see what the See, I just did that twice now. I'm showing you how to take that, do that pin right there. Hopefully, it'll help somebody because I know that there's absolutely nothing on YouTube how to repair a Kato switch. So, there's lots of modification videos, but there's nothing about repairing that freaking wire right there. And I'm not saying that, you know. Um, That not anybody has to do it that way. Let's see how we can now. Oh yeah, that's why I show how closer that is right there now. Much closer. I'll do it from here. You can see a better, better video of it. Oop, you gotta to put the camera here. Remember the camera's right here. Here, watch it turn now. See how close it is now? Yeah, right there. Wasn't like that earlier. Now it's good. Good to go. Okay, that's it. I'm going to shut this thing off real quick.